Uh, first things first, I enjoyed your character in the movie. As growing up, we seen and experienced those type of fathers. Did you have any challenges to get into the character of Acho? I did not, brother, because um, I played my father. You know, uh, that's the kind of relationship my father and I had growing up. And uh, so it was easy for me to step into that. You know, I just uh, pretty much emulated him. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. you know, me, when I had my kids, I promised that I would never be that way. Because all it did was make a lot of anger. You know, we always had that. We always bumped head, brother. You know what I'm saying? And I, and right for you know, and I, you know, I got involved with the gangs at a young age. Just like, like Richard's story were so similar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, and for him, you know, he's from the my dad and mom were from the peace guys, Dejas. You know, I mean, they were from the they're from the fields or the little pickers. And for them, all they knew was about hard work. So joining the gang life and stuff like that was so against it. So we just it was always like this, brother. Even when I even when I things got normal for me. Um, it was still be like this, you know. And then when I got into acting, it was more like this because you know, <laughs> we don't do that stuff. You know, that's 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 for the rich people, that's for different people. We don't that's we're we're hardworking people. And that's the way I was raised. So when I became an actor, um, that was uh, it was frowned upon. It really was. You know? But you know, one time, you know, I had done somebody, I was working like already eight years, I had done a lot of projects already, you know. One time he, he would call me, he lived in Texas, he goes, Mijo. I don't know why, but these women, they want your picture, your headshot. Send it to Maria, Sofia, Sonia. And I would always send pictures there, right, brother? You know, and I got to tell you, brother, when he passed away, I went to Texas to go cremate him. And he never told me he was proud of me. He would always say, get stick to your job. He never knew that I quit my normal job. But they took me to his, all his stomping grounds where he hang out at the bars and the restaurants. And every those places, they all had my picture there. And they said, all he ever did was talk about you. Wow, he never, he never told me about those, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, true, right? It says, how hard court you gonna say it was so easy to play Bacho Montañez because my dad was Bacho Montañez, you know. Yes, and it related to that so much just because, like, growing up in, in that household, and that you know, like, you gotta be doing this, you gotta be doing that. The and exact same thing, brother. When I saw that movie and when I read it, I go, This is me and my dad, you know. So, and, and so, and there's so many. Guys and their dads in the, in the Mexicano Chicano world, bro. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Big but this movie lets us dream, man. And that's what so I love. I love this movie so much. It just it lets us dream, man. You dig what I'm saying? Man? Let's just do what you want. You can do it, man. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. It's a very powerful movie. The story is just incredible, and it's just, you know, it's it's our superhero movie. You know, this flaming hot. I think it really is. Brother. It really is, brother. It really is. I just hope that. This opens up so many doors for all our other stories. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many to tell. Big time, brother. Big time. Uh, growing up uh, in the barrio, we used to eat, uh, well, they call it flaming hot Cheetos, but we called it hot Cheetos. Were you a fan of the, of the, of the Cheetos, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, brother. Yeah. <laughs> for a little bit of uh, queso and jalapenos. Excuse me? Oh, we, we, we put queso and jalapenos in there as well. <laughs> We always done that, bro. We 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 put we used to put um Tabasco sauce in, in the in the chicharrones before they did that. The powdery. Mm -hmm. We always that's how we ate chicharrones at home. We know we watched bananas. I'm from the sixties and seventies. So we sit down and me, my dad and my boy, my brother, and we get the he goes, go get the Tabasco and we put it in, we shake it up, and there we were, bro. Our fingers will be wet with Tabasco sauce. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I gotta tell you, man, um, there was a scene in there when she, when uh, he, he, uh, the little boy Richard, he goes, "Can you make some bologna sandwiches?" And I remember, Karnat, you know, um, I went to my friend's house. He was Chicano también, but they were like, they live in Silver Lake. They were like in a nice area, like in the barrio, and they lived up in Silver Lake. And he invited me to his house, and his mother made us um, uh, uh, tuna fish sandwiches, right? Like real cut up, real nice. Wow. So then, so, this, so check this out. So check this out, Karnat. So and 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 all we ate was burritos. That's all we had was rice and beans all the time. That was our food, you know, and um. We always had the mancha on the, the paper bag, you know, to go to school. You know, talking about. Yes. So, so I, I remember since he invited me to his house, I wanted to invite him to my house, and um, so I told my mom, "Go, ma, can, can you make us like like a normal sandwich, like 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 a, like a, like bologna and it was some cheese?" And she goes, "What are you talking about? You don't got that money to be doing that." And so check it out. So I, I said, "Okay, ma, you know." So I brought him to my house, and I knew we were gonna eat burritos or tacos, and she actually went out and bought. The bologna cheese, so I could impress my friend. You know, what I'm talking about because that's not the way we But she did it for me, and that's beautiful, brother. You know what I'm saying? So I, I related so many things to that story. You know, 
Yeah, that's very cool, you know, because when I bring friends over, we'll just be like, oh, we've got the rice, beans, poquito, tortillas, aquí, salsa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when I went to his house, his, he see, we were poor. We grew up in a poor barrio, and we, we were really poor, but we got a lot of uh, secondhand stuff, you know, growing up. And, uh, I mean, so I went to his house. You know, he had his own room. You know, he was in Silver Lake. It was like a whole, like a, almost like a so close, but so far away as far as the way we live. You know what I mean? You know, you don't know, you don't know how your friends live until you go to their house. You know, and they said, "Wow, these guys had their own room." You know, and my room, we it was a small little room, and it was four of us that slept in the same room. You know, my, me, and my brother slept in the same bed, head to feet, and my two sisters slept head to feet on on the twin bed. You know. Wow. It's a different perspective when you when you go out there, you know. You you see like a just going to a different person's house, you're just like, oh. I, I know they 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 realize you don't got too much, you know. What I'm talking about, but you don't know you you don't know you're poor because everybody around you is, is almost the same way in the same audio. You know what I'm saying? We're all we're going and we're just used to that. You know, we're used to the way we live, and then you just step out, literally, you know, the next the next area, you know, like the next five blocks, and I said, oh shit, this is different, you know. And then you realize you go home, we go, oh, I don't have that, you know. Big who time. has who has their own room? Give me a break, you know. <laughs> no one does. Who has their own room? <laughs> and then, as you see in the movie, you see all of them lived in that one room. All the, and that's how it was in the batch. The beds didn't match. Everybody would just sleep. You you may do. You may do. At one time, that uh, that a thousand square foot house that we lived in, uh, there was at one time there was twelve of us in that one house. You know what I mean? We knew how mm -hmm. to make the space, man. You know. Very true, brother. Very true. You know. You know what it is, brother. You know. Yeah. And with the Flaming Hot movie, brother, with the story, what do you want young Mexicano uh, viewers to take from this story, brother? I want people to take that. You know what? Dream. Dream big, man. Do it. You know what I mean? And don't stop. Me. The thing is, don't stop. And, and stay away from the people that are negative. Because sometimes if, if you're not a strong mind person like Richard Montanez was, that negativity will bring you down and you just forget about your dreams, you know? And that's why, and that's why I talk to people, man. Just, uh, just positive, brother. Just positive, man. You know, we can do bad by ourselves. Don't let nobody else bring it down, you know? Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Emilio, for taking the time to talk with me today. Of course, Very brother. excited. It's an honor to talk to you, Padrino. Very honored, brother. Mind, brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, brother. You do the 